the epic animals of March Mammal Madness appear again and again in folk tales and literature. But what stories do they come from? Let's break it down. The Schismid was named after Bram Stoker, the author of Dracula. The Tarzan chameleon is named after the famous literary character in an effort to raise awareness about its conservation. Nomazu is a giant underground catfish in Japanese mythology who causes earthquakes. The mouse appears in many folk tales, from Aesop's fables to the Brothers Grimm. Starlings, like the one on my shirt, appear in Shakespeare's Henry IV. An Indian gray mongoose is a character in a Rudyard Kipling story. The big eye hound shark is named after the villain of Othello. An albatross is an important plot point in the poem, The Rime of the Ancient Mariner. The raven is most prominently featured in the Edgar Allan Poe poem of the same name, but it also appears in Beowulf and in Grimm's fairy tales. Lucy is named after the Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, because it was playing on repeat at the dig site where she was found. Boars show up in Beowulf as protective symbols on helmets, and in the story of Hercules, capturing the Aramanthian boar is his fourth labor. Stags show up in many stories displaying human emotions, and it's the death of a stag in the Aeneid that eventually leads to a war. In many fairy tales, the wolf is a threat, most notably in the tale Little Red Riding Hood by the Brothers Grimm. But it is a wolf who saves Romulus and Remus in Rome's founding myth. Gilgamesh, whose story was the foundation of many hero myths, is often known as the master of animals and is frequently depicted fighting tigers. As well, tigers play many roles in Indian mythology. The giant squid is the real-life kraken, which features in stories like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. A sperm whale is the primary antagonist in the novel Moby Dick. The whale in the story is based off of Mocha Dick, a real whale that lived in the Pacific Ocean in the 19th century.